end of an era as the federal declaration of an emergency for COVID-19 ends today. Oregon and Washington are also ending their public health emergency status as well today. Fox News' Deborah Gill joins us now live to explain what that means for all of us. Deb, good morning. Good morning. Yeah, that declaration brought on by the COVID-19 pandemic ends today. And with that, some of the extended services and benefits because of it. But health officials want to remind everyone the disease itself is not ended. The disease's grip on the globe is going away. It's lessening as the Biden White House is allowing the COVID public health emergency to expire today. This comes as COVID-19 weekly cases and hospitalizations are down drastically from previous years. I think for, for some people, this is going to seem very arbitrary and accelerated that the, the emergency part of this pandemic is coming to an end. For other people, they're going to say, hey, look, months ago, maybe even a year ago, I was sort of through this. With declarations end also comes the endings of some mandated vaccinations for uh, healthcare workers, uh, government workers, teachers, that sort of thing. Isolation and some testing measures are the changes over the coming weeks that Oregon uh, will put into place as we transition out of the pandemic. But COVID continues to take lives, and Dr. Sanjay Gupta said it would be basically at the rate of what would be typically a really bad flu season. Reporting live, Deborah Gill, Good Day, Oregon.